Kings game, there is a 10% discount on the West Ham store, meaning you can get 10% off all items, all merchandise, all replica shirts, classic shirts. So 10% off throughout the live stream and only while the game is live. So while we wait for the teams, we can take you through the two lineups, starting off with West Ham United. And the Hammers make four changes from Tuesday night's 3-1 victory at Bristol Rovers. The first of those in goal as Knightsbridge returns to the side. The defence sees Luis Yal drop to the bench and Ben John Johnson come in. Coventry is alongside Kelly in midfield. And there's a return to the side for Mabama, who scored a hat-trick against the Saints in the FA Youth Cup semi-final back in April. And then for this evening's visitors, Southampton, they make one change from the side who lost 5-1 to Fulham. And despite conceding five, the defence remains, remains unchanged. And the, there is a change in midfield, which sees the goal scorer against Fulham, Robinson, drop out of the side. And then up top for the visitors this evening, Tyler Dibbling will line up alongside a basherman. So here we look. Here we go then. Match day five in the Premier League two. These two sides haven't met in the league for a couple of seasons because of Southampton being in the uh, second division of the old Premier League two format. But the last time these two sides did meet in a league game. It was a 3-1 victory for West Ham. And Dan Chesters, who's in the side tonight, was a goal scorer in that one. And it's Kersey Dahl, the referee this evening, who uh, leads the players out onto the field. It's without doubt an exciting evening for the Hammers, as it always is with this fantastic form that they're in. As I mentioned, they're looking for seven straight wins in all competitions. And that includes, of course, the EFL Trophy, where they played Bristol Rovers last time out, and the Premier League International Cup as well, just before that, where they won 5-0 against Celtic. But the attention turns back to the league again where they come into this fourth in the table after winning their last three games in the competition. As for Southampton, they've got the complete opposite form. They've lost three and won one game so far this season, the visitors. And for West Ham, they've managed to build on that 3-0 uh, defeat against Arsenal on the opening day haven't really looked back since. So it's Casey who once again captains the side this evening for the Young Hammers.
So we're all set and ready to go. And this man, Mabama, will hope that he's back on the score sheet again. He has scored for the under-21s so far this season, despite a few less appearances in the league. That goal was against Celtic in that 5-0 victory in the Premier League International Cup that I mentioned before. But it's not just him that Southampton needs to be worried about this evening because Callum Marshall, of course, in there too for the Hammers. He scored five goals in the league this season. Ready. So here is Bragg for the Saints. Oh, yeah. Time to press up high straight away. Bragg, it was a heavy touch in midfield. Here's Dan Chester's. Yang for Chester's again. And the wing back looking to dart in field. It's good defensive work in there from the uh, only change for Southampton this evening. Amo Amaya. Is Connor Coventry. Johnson spotted the run early. Here's Ollie Skulls who looks to break in behind for West Ham. As we would have expected with the confidence that the Hammers have coming into this game, it has been a strong start from the hosts. Jacob Knightsbridge. Wait! forcing Southampton long, Casey up there to win the header. Marshall was just a tad outnumbered. And now Southampton look to break forward for the first time this evening. This is Edwards. And well read by the West Ham captain. There will be a corner though for Southampton. As Edwards try to seek out Tyler Dibbling. Okay. In case he knew what was coming. So what can the visitors make of the first set piece okay, of the okay. evening? Okay. Right foot, in swing now. Once again, it's Casey there. It's Doyle. West Ham starting to press out now at Southampton. Bagoma. Uh, he's got options ahead of him. One of those is Callum Marshall. Chesses. Is Kelly. Along with a few of the West Ham players so far this season have done so well in this move up from under 18s level. Chester knows what it's like to be at under 21s level for a little while. Casey wants more. Here's Johnson. Skulls now on the outside. That was a nice ball towards Earthy. How about that for defensive covering from Molly Skulls? Edwards. Just 
it's coolly done. And I have it in goal for Southampton. Time, time. Marshall and now Chester's. And it's back with the wing back again. Marshall goes with the flat ball towards Earthy. And Chester's is going to get there first round the outside. He can't quite keep it in play though. Dan Chester's yeah. is Zach Hall. Yeah. Frank now for Southampton. Yeah. Frank will try and seek out Edwards now on this near side. Skulls. Oh, it's brilliant from West Ham to break out of danger. And now they can cause their own danger. Dan Chester's around the outside. And it's back with George Earthy again as he looks for Skulls at that back post. Casey couldn't get there. And now there could be a breakaway for Southampton. Over Showman leading the charge. He's all alone for now. And now here's a shooting opportunity. And there is a fine save from Jacob Knightsbridge. It was Amo Amayo. He found a little bit of room. And a really fine stop from the West Ham number one. It's the second corner of the evening now for Southampton. Not quite what Southampton would have wanted. Just what West Ham would have wanted on the other hand. First time I'm confident to play it from the back. I'm sure they'll try and do the same again. It was nice pressure from the Saints. to Premier League 2 action this season. He started the first game of uh, last season's Premier League 2 campaign before going out on loan. Back with the academy again this year. It's his earthy now for West Ham and there's a break on for the hosts. Chester's, he's been very involved so far. Zach all there first for Southampton. Jaden! Jaden! 
Jason! Bursting on this near side for Southampton. Here is the number five again. Edwards. This is Zako. Look at this for pressure from Callum Marshall. He's not just the goal scorer. Take it on the near side, he can't. Dan, drop. Jay, get ready to drop. Come on, right shoulder, come on, right shoulder. Come on, right. Come on, Jay. Come on, Frag. Up like that for a little turn inside. It was a fair challenge from Ben Johnson. Oh, went down off the ball. Nothing given from the ref that time, but there is a foul on Dan Chester's second time round. Here's Casey. Just too much for Dan Chester's. Southampton all the way back to Mohammed. This is Bragg. Nice ball down the line from Dibbling and Edwards fires too close towards Knightsbridge. He will look to set West Ham on the break straight away. Coventry. Yes, Abu finding a Martic for Southampton. Oh, I've shown a lot of confidence playing out from the back. Hasn't worked this time round. All well, these guys just seemed a little too eager for West Ham to get some kind of attack going. on Abu here and Oli Scars is there to win the header helped on by Coventry for a second it like West Ham did get themselves in a good position now Southampton looking to come down the other end this is Magoma and Magoma is going to go on alone Like there was a nick perhaps off of Jacob Knightsbridge. Will be a Southampton corner. And there was an important save. 
second time the West Ham number one has been called into action. kind of shot from Southampton. Dibbling. And it's a nice ball towards the back post. It was well read by Jacob Knightsbridge. Commentary. Touch in there from Kelly, and now there could be a chance for Southampton to break away. And again, Jacob Knightsbridge denying Urba Showman. The number nine was always going to shoot from that kind of range. That one more comfortable this time for Jacob Knightsbridge. much pressure from the referee's liking. chances so far. They're missing their main man up top. Bullard, who's uh, scored two hat-tricks in the Premier League 2 this season. The second Premier League 2 fixture in a row, though, he's not in the side. This is Doyle. Back with the number 10 again. quite nick it back for West Ham. A go mat. He finds Edwards. Referee does decide that there was contact on the number seven. A few complaints from the West Ham players. It's an interesting one at second view, that's for sure. Southampton haven't been able to do too much from corners so far. What about from this free kick? Looks like it will be Doyle. And he's going to go for goal. And he's going to find the goal. It is a fantastic strike from the Southampton number eight. And it's the visitors who take the lead at the Rush Green Stadium. He got his first England under 19s call up in the recent international break. And he's celebrating those three Lions appearances with a goal here at the Rush Green Stadium. And what a fine goal too from the free kick. So West Ham, who had a bright start, 
will need to get themselves going again. And the good thing for the Hammers, they do know that they fell behind against Bristol Rovers. And that very much finished out in their favour with the 3-1 victory. They'll have to come from behind again this evening. Here's Earthy. Chester's. Johnson finding Scarls. Oh, he wanted the decision in his favour, doesn't get it. Here is the Southampton goal scorer. Magoma. There's a good spell this from the visitors. They find themselves a goal up with almost a quarter of the way through. Well, we're not giving the free kick and his dibbling for Southampton. And he's got options round the outside. That was well seen off by Ben Johnson. Nice involvement from Obama. His earthy with a little bit of room. Marshall. Coventry as well under pressure. This is Casey. Obama getting involved. The chest is free on this near side now for West Ham. Earthy. Just ran into trouble. And the decision goes the way of Southampton. And forced to go long first time. Looks like it stayed in, and there's a little bit of room now for Dibbling. He looks to lead this Southampton breakaway. Forgot the ball, though. And now Mabama. Here's Callum Marshall. He's been a big name in terms of goals this season. But this time he turns provider and finds George Earthy at the back post. And how about that from a response from West Ham. He scored against Bristol Rovers in the week. He scored again here. And the Hammers level. But what fantastic work from Callum Marshall. An inch perfect delivery. And such a cool finish to that from George Earthy. And just the response that West Ham would have wanted to falling behind. 
the energy is really with the Hammers now. We were looking to turn things around and they will win themselves a corner for the first time this evening. If you can tell straight away what the goal has done in terms of confidence. West Ham, who levelled things up just a moment ago. Looking to turn things around from this corner, just too close towards Mohamed. Here's Kelly. Marshall provided one assist already. That time fires it too close towards Mohamed in goal for Southampton. Bamba's turn now to press high at Southampton. And it was a decision that was always going to go the way of the Saints centre back. Magoma. Pressed high by the goal scorer, Earthy. Here's Johnson. Casey, Liang, just behind, Dan Chester's there from George Earthy. Nicely done by Liang under pressure from Edwards. Not too bad from Knightsbridge as well, as the pressure kept on coming. And a card shown too for Edwards there for Southampton for this challenge. <laughs> The yeah, first booking of the evening. Nicely one on by Marshall. Again, just behind Chester's. This time was able to keep it in play. This goes down. There was perhaps the slightest of touches from Coventry. Enough to send the number 11 tumbling. Lampton moving it well under pressure. They might have a little bit of a chance to break out now as Bragg finds Edwards. Nicely seen out by Casey. Here's Abu. Look at 
That from pressure from West Ham, forcing the Southampton mistake. Here's Casey. And OP will get their first now for West Ham. Try to thread it through towards Mbama. Scars at the moment is free on that far side. And will play it patiently for now. Kelly. Now they find Ollie Scars. Marshall. It's the ricochet in his favour. Marshall's going to go for goal. Here's Earthy. Towards the touch in there from Connor Coventry for West Ham. Just to stop any chance of a Southampton breakaway. Here's Casey. Now Kelly finding Mabama. Break it, break it, break it. Here's Bragg. does really well in there for uh, West Ham. Nice bridge. It's Doyle. Haven't seen too much of him since his free kick. After around 20 minutes. Here's a shooting opportunity. It struck the post. And so important for Casey to get there first for West Ham. After what could have been a really unlucky deflection off of Knightsbridge. But it was really nice work in there from Amo Amayo. And Casey alert to the situation. This is the first time Southampton have had the corner on the far side. That's well claimed by Knightsbridge. Here's Marshall. Nice defensive work in there from Dibling. Back with Tyler Dibling. Kelly. It's Marshall looking to return it towards Kelly. Can he get there first? Nicely seen by Mohamed in goal for Southampton. Edwards just about able to keep it in play. Here's Abu. Doyle has done well. And again, it's that same kind of opportunity for Southampton and for their number seven. Amo Amayo, not quite as close as hitting the post last time out. Yes, is causing some problems for West Ham on that far side. Don't forget, throughout the uh, live stream, there is a 10% discount on the West Ham United store. And that 10% discount is only there while the live stream and the game is in play. Use the code WHU10 to get 10% off during the live stream. It's 
Nicely read by Ben Johnson. Importantly, red. Bragg. With the save number six. Carl is given against Connor Coventry. Now the referee didn't want to play the advantage. Perhaps a final warning before a potential yellow card. I'm oh my. It's been dangerous in the last few minutes for Southampton. It's Magoma. Edwards took a tumble. Alabama can't quite break away for West Ham. He was on the bench last night in the Europa League at the London Stadium for the Hammers. An unused substitute. Here's Casey. Marshall, as he looks to find Mbama, he's onside the number nine. He's always dangerous in these kind of situations as Mbama still goes on. And not quite his usual clinical self on that occasion. Seems to just be caught in two minds at one stage there, Mabama. Did so well to time his run. He's trying to seek out Marshall. At that point, the shooting opportunity has fizzled out. Space now for Dibbling. Like that for a little flick on towards Oli Scarls. Marshall's going to keep this in play for West Ham. And they've got numbers forward here, the Hammers. Coventry. Chester's will get a second bite at it here, the number two. And what a ball that is towards the back post. And what a goal that is. Guess who? It's Callum Marshall again. Goal number six in the Premier League two this season. And for now, becomes the joint leading goal scorer in the competition this campaign. But a lot of the work from this man, Dan Chesters, to keep at it after the initial challenge from Magoma. And a superb floated ball to that back post. And when you've got Callum Marshall free at that back post, there's only one result. Right. 
a risky touchdown from Sakor. Just about found Magoma. Marshall's continuing a uh, fine week of goal scoring form. Goals against Celtic and Bristol Rovers, and there was almost a goal there for Southampton. Tyler Dibbling going on and on. Hit the net, just the wrong side of it from a Southampton point of view. Bama. Skulls now trying to battle away. The decision does go against West Ham again, this time against Oli Skulls. They're getting themselves in a tangle. It's Bragg. goes against Mabama who's not going to be happy after the decisions that he hasn't got he's going to be shown a yellow card to the West Ham number nine the first West Ham booking of the evening Skulls. Southampton looking to break away. Here's Tyler Dibbling. Edwards now around the outside. And not for the first time this evening. A fine stop from Knightsbridge. Southampton will get themselves the corner. But really fine work from the West Ham number one. Strong right arm. It's West Ham looking to hold on to the advantage. Getting on close towards half time. Knightsbridge will help out with that by palming it away. so much pressure particularly from Callum Marshall I mentioned it before he's not just about all those goals that he's scoring he's called the difference between the two sides at the moment though it's nice bridge there's a dart through the middle here from Callum Marshall. Mohammed's got to get there for Southampton and did. It's 
time. It's the Saints' turn to go long over the top. So entering a uh, couple of minutes of stoppage time at the end of the first half. Here's Bragg. Marshall again helping out defensively for West Ham. His earthy. Chester's. Find Marshall. Once again, we'll make sure that Southampton don't get a touch. Loses out this time, though. Nice work from Liang. Just about kept his balance. Over again, claiming a shove in the back, not getting in the decision. Amo Mayo, probably been the most dangerous player for Southampton this evening. Back with him again. Here's a Vu around the outside. It will be a corner for the Saints and what will probably be their last chance of the first half to get back on level terms. Edwards, and this is nice from Southampton. I think that's exactly where West Ham won it just before half time in the arms of Jacob Knightsbridge. The goal scorer Doyle looks to turn provider late on in the first half. In what was the last action of a pretty action packed first half. It didn't start how West Ham would have wanted. This man's made some fine saves, but he was beaten by Doyle from a free kick for the Saints. But West Ham scored not once but twice to turn things around. First George Earthy and then Callum Marshall. But this was that Southampton opener. Nothing that Knightsbridge could have done about that. Doyle gets his uh, first Premier League two goal of the season. The Southampton lead didn't last too long. Obama getting involved and starting the move. And then George Earthy finishing things off after a fantastic ball across from Callum Marshall. The front three linking up really well together. the first half scoring. The goal scorer started the move. And you know when Callum Marshall gets a little bit of room inside the penalty area, that spells danger. Too much danger from a Southampton point of view. It's Callum Marshall's goal is the difference between the two sides going into half time. Time score West Ham 2, Southampton 1. And to take you through half time is the uh, highlights from Tuesday night's EFL trophy victory against Bristol Rovers. And a little sneak peek of the Iron Cast, the latest episode on YouTube now. So enjoy the half time showing.
John, how did can you tell the story? I've never heard it told, but why has Cotton Eye Joe become the West Ham anthem? Uh, Ginger, I was asking you before, like, who controlled the music in the dressing room in your day? And you said it was Mickey Antonio. Yeah, I, does he still do it? Mick still on no, it? No, I think it's J-Mo, you know. Who is it? J-Mo. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, Mick was doing it. It was all different. Like, I was a bit different to Mick. He was playing his stuff and I was asking for, like, Johnny Cash or, I don't know, Whitney Houston. And it, <laughs> it didn't go down too well. But, yeah, this is like... All the boys wear headphones in that now, don't they? Probably listen to their own listen to their own tracks and that. So, do you mean Jamo the Kit Man? Yeah, does he good as well? Yeah, is he? Yeah, wow. Why are we but the to kit be man fair, we just tunes? like we ask him to put on whatever, um, and he does it. 
He's got a playlist. It's good. It covers all it's, bases. It's worked for us for a while. So yeah, true. Is why, that because there was a lot it? of rows around? Uh, no. No, he's just always, since I've been in the first team, he's always done it. Uh, Mo, have you heard us play Cotton Eye Joe yet by the Rednecks? <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 absolutely not. <laughs> Dean, have you heard no, this? Neither, neither. Jono, how did, can you tell the story? I've never heard it told, but why has Cotton Eye Joe become the West Ham anthem? Um, honestly, I do not know. I think there was, was it one not away Goodison, game. Was it Goodison yeah, Park? Yeah, yeah, we played Everton away. I think it was before that. It was like a running joke, I think. But Everton away, um, great result. I think on New Year's Day, we won 2-1. Um, or in like the last minute or whatever. Like, this is during COVID as well. <laughs> someone put it on it must have been J-Mo and then everyone went mad manager went mad um, <laughs> and Craig Mazur one of the um, masseuses was just went mental as well he's got a good he's got some funny dance moves um, and then yeah that was kind of it it became like a a running joke and then after home games and away games like we'd put it on and ask for days off and stuff like that <laughs> Talk. Um, and that was it kind of so talking about funny too. dance moves can we touch on the gaffers dancing after the uh, after the final? You know what? What Ging? do you think of his moves? You know what, Ginger? I've not seen it. Have you not? I've not seen oh, them. Oh, mate, it's a classic. Honestly, I've not seen them. I thought they'd be all over the first no, team WhatsApp no, chat. No. no, I've not seen them. It's, uh, I watch them. It's a good watch. Um, we've got some questions from the audience here. Uh, John, I'm going to put this one to you. Who do you look up to in this current West Ham team? Is there anyone you can kind of really admire? Oh, yeah, there's a few. Um, I'd say Krez. Um, he's been a great servant for the club, as everyone knows. Still doing it as well at the highest level. Um, so professional. Does it properly every day, on and off the pitch. Um, he's given me some good advice over the years. Um, Danny Ings as well. He's been around. He's been at Liverpool. He's been at some some huge clubs. And he's been a goal scorer everywhere he's gone. And ultimately, just a, a, a wonderful guy. Uh, again, it's just... I've got had a few mentors over the years, um, and it's it's been nice. So currently, them two to to learn off. So you've won the Euro, the Euro, under twenty ones Euros, and now you've won the Conference League. Med- where, where, what do you do with those medals? Um, that's a question from the audience. Presumably, that's not a burglar. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they're just at home. Um, I've not really looked at them to be honest. I just put them next to the telly, and and they're they're sitting there <laughs> next to the telly. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, just sitting there. Um, I've got a few things that I have, um, like my Premier League debut ball. They put it in a in a case. Um, that's there, and yeah, they're just sitting there. Really, I don't go home and put them on. Like, they're just <laughs> yeah, they're just there. Like you, yeah, just look at them from time to time, and yeah, it's just just good, I guess. Uh, Mo, is there anything? Have you been collecting stuff from your c- career? Have you got many things that you've kind of kept kept on to? Um, yeah, some few. We won the league um, two times and, yeah, some medals. So, like you said, you just keep you and keep going because I think um, it's after your career that you sit back and look at all of this. And, and But for now, um, there's a lot of work to do and we are looking ahead. Yeah. So, have you done something better than leaving by a telly? Have you put them <laughs> in a drawer at least? I think where I left this is even worse than the telly, I think. I don't even remember. <laughs> Uh, Dinos, question for you. What was the most valuable thing you learned in Germany while playing for Stuttgart? Sorry? Most valuable. What was the most important thing you learned? Um, many things, I can say, uh, around football and for life because uh, I was uh, in Premier League and then uh, I had to go to Bundesliga to um, get my confidence back. So um, I learned that uh, I have to be ready for everything and enjoy the moment and uh, work, work hard because this is the most important and what makes you better.
Welcome back to the Rush Green Stadium for second half action now. As West Ham lead Southampton. And we'll look to make sure they keep that lead throughout till the end. Hasn't all gone their way though this evening. It was Southampton that took the lead through Doyle, the fantastic free kick. doing so well to turn things around and lead by two goals to one going into this second half now. Goals from George Earthy and Callum Marshall. As they're looking for another win in this Premier League 2 season. It's three wins from four games so far for West Ham in the league. They've won every game in all other competitions to this campaign. Two games in the Premier League International Cup, one game in the EFL Trophy against Bristol Rovers. And I look to bring that winning mentality into the second half as we get underway. No changes for either side at half time. This Liang under pressure straight away in this second half. Long it goes towards Mabama. Nicely moved on over towards this near side. Here's Knightsbridge, who made some fantastic saves in that first 45. To make sure that West Ham go into the second half in the lead. This is Doyle. Abu now. Amo and you. Looking to twist and turn. Delivers the ball in. Caught some work from Liang. Here's Abu. Southampton were moving it well, but now they give it away towards Divine Mubama. Gets their first ahead of Marshall. Yes, 
Here's Divlink. Looking to burst forward now for Southampton. That's a nice ball around the outside. And it must have been either a handball or some form of obstruction against the number seven. Keep on pressing on it, Zakor. And now Mohammed and Mavam is going to get there for West Ham. Here's Marshall. It works its way over to that far side with Chester's. So Mountain do end up getting away with it. Johnson. Coventry. It's nice, patient play from West Ham. It's the captain, Casey. Chester's will deliver towards Mabama. And a really important challenge. It was Armitage, their first for Southampton to deny the West Ham number nine. Because I think there would have only been one outcome if Mavama was able to take it down. Danger doesn't end there. First time get themselves the corner. Their first of the second half. There might have been a hand there off of Zakor. There were some strong appeals from West Ham. Johnson now outnumbered in Southampton, looking to break away. They're going on and on. It's three on two for now, and it's a big chance here for the Saints. And it's fantastic work, both from Kelly and Knightsbridge. Andrew Kelly has remained down on the ground. Be a uh, concerning sign for West Ham. We'll keep an eye on uh, Kelly. It's always concerning when they go down holding their head. And not the kind of stoppage you want to see in any way. The West Ham player is still not too happy with uh, a potential penalty appeal. One thing they will be happy about is that uh, the score has remained 2 1 in their favour after the big chance down the other end for Southampton. Good sign now for West Ham as that Kelly is uh, back up on his feet. And hopefully able to continue. Big 
be able to get things back underway with this Southampton corner. I've tried these uh, short corners a lot so far as here's Edwards. He's always looking to get it onto a stronger left foot. As there's another delivery in towards the back post and in towards Zakor, just too high for the number four. This was that Southampton chance before. Look at that from heroic defending from Patrick Kelly. It's just a shame about the consequences for him. He's uh, just come back on the field now off screen. It's fantastic to see that the uh, number eight is okay. It's earthy. Oh, what about that for a flick from Kelly? And Earthy's going to switch this towards Marshall. Might have been best to leave that towards Scars, but Marshall's battling away to win it back now for West Ham. And there will be a corner. And pure determination has won that corner there from Callum Marshall after initially giving it away. First corner of the second half from this near side, deep it goes. And away it goes from Southampton. As Doyle looks to send it forward early. And nice work from Kelly again defensively for West Ham. there from Zakol with the switch. It's a nice ball from Johnson towards Lee Valiang. Chester's now. He finds Earthy. Here is Casey now. It's nice from West Ham on the far side, Chester's. Coventry. Out of play. It will be a throw for the Saints. It's been a lot more competitive than the uh, FA Youth Cup semi final at the London Stadium back in April. It was 6 1 to West Ham on that occasion. A lot of those players in the under 18s playing at under 21s level now. Look at this for a run from Ben Johnson. And now Mavama's going to get there at that back stick for West Ham. And the number nine find an option. He'll find Johnson. Liang. And just too close towards Mohammed in goal for the Saints. Patrick Kelly's defensive work in this second half so far. 
It's time he just to flick it on towards Earthy. Bragg's there first, though, for Southampton. Casey finding Scars. Coventry. He's going to look to float one over towards Callum Marshall. Just too much for the number seven. Really nice idea, though. Southampton give it away and it's a chance for Earthy, but a chance he couldn't take. The Saints living dangerously. But Mohamed has tried that risky pass a couple of times in goal for Southampton. Didn't work out that time round. The flash wide from the Hammers number 10. Is Abu. Southampton. He's done well and he finds Doyle. And there's a shooting opportunity and another save from Knightsbridge. Tyler Dibbling that time with the effort, effort for Southampton. It worked hard to try and find a shooting angle. It was Dibbling who found one. And a shot straight at Jacob Knightsbridge. One of the more comfortable saves that the uh, number one has had to make this evening. Valiang. Too much on it for Chester's. As we've hit the owl mark. Much time still with the lead. Edwards now for Southampton. Just too far ahead of Earthy. Otherwise, he might have been able to start a West Ham breakaway. I think about getting one going now, though, with Kelly. Marshall. Just a little breakdown of communication between himself and Ollie Scarls. Give up defensively there for West Ham. Almost run into trouble though. Knightsbridge able to pick up the pieces. Here's Ben Johnson again. Skulls. 
with the number 11 again. Justice, he's done well to drive inside. This is Mavama. Marshall. Southampton looking to break away, it's the advantage played. Now how quickly can West Ham get on with things in terms of a counter attack? It looks like they're just going to try and keep the ball for a little now. Hammers go direct towards Callum Marshall. Obama's going to pick up that second ball. Skulls drilling it towards Chester's on that far side. Earthy. back again. They've had a few of these situations where they've got a chance to break away. Flag stays down. And this could be the best chance Southampton have had for an equaliser and they've got it. He's been the danger man this evening. And Amo Amaya, who was the change for the Saints coming into the game, has got a goal and has levelled things up at 2 all. Her appeals were offside from Casey. The flag stayed down. And his supposed weaker right foot was the one that took the effort. It didn't show weak on that occasion, beating Knightsbridge. Back square again with 25 minutes to go. So I have had to pick themselves up from falling behind in the first half. They'll have to pick themselves up again for Southampton hitting back level. Only took two or three minutes for West Ham to respond with a goal themselves when Southampton took the lead. Let's get straight back on the front foot again here with Earthy. And what an important defensive touch from Zakor. West Ham get the corner. towards that near post, Coventry ends up finding a good pass towards Kelly. And once again, there's that counter-attack opportunity for Southampton. Chester has got to get there first, he did do so. That's been a theme in this second half though. And getting these breakaways. Here's Doyle. What's happened since he opened the scoring? This is Edwards. 
Break. A few now. Break. Nice work from Avama. And let's see if West Ham can get a break themselves now. Really important challenge from Zakor. It's Kelly. And this is Mavama. A little bit of room, but not too many options at the moment for the number nine. Linking up well with Marshall. Oh, fantastic work from Callum Marshall, though. Referee disagrees. Callum Marshall's in the book. Take a second look at it here. He definitely got the ball. For his studs just showing a little too much there, Callum Marshall. towards that back post just too high for the substitute Will Merry who came on for Southampton there is potential that these two sides will meet again this campaign both these teams in the Premier League International Cup course if both these sides finish in the top 16 of the Premier League too then there is a chance they'll play each other there is no return fixture in the current league format of the uh, 26 team division That's a late challenge from Ben Johnson and there are calls for a potential yellow card there won't be one. Johnson's not happy with the challenge on him. It was late from Doyle and the studs were showing. Right on the ankle. It's Kelly. Commentary finds Ollie Skulls. First time just need a moment of inspiration at the moment. Skulls, a little bit of room for the number 11. Oh, nice work from Skulls to win it back in Coventry. Couldn't link up with the number 11. That was better from West Ham. Southampton have to play it up from the back again. Seen by Johnson. Really? 
is Sako. Force one thanks to the pressure from Obama. Casey will pick up the pieces for West Ham. That's a nice pick out to find Earthy. Johnson. What a pass that is as he's found Earthy. Obama, can he find a shooting angle? Southampton were quick to get the bodies back and around the West Ham number nine. This is Kelly. Scars, a little bit of room for the number 11. As the pressure won't end there. Back with Scars again. Much time taking the patient approach for now. Chester's. And now they deliver the ball towards Callum Marshall. And still, there was no angle for a strike at goal. And now Southampton looking to break away. The flag stays down again. Some counter attack. This will be some goal. This will be. As the Saints themselves now have turned things around. As it's over showman on the score sheet. As West Ham coming so close down one end. Southampton turning things around down the other. There's a big question of offside. The flag did stay down. Perhaps controversially. And a really nice finish from the number nine. It's my Sam of uh, made some changes since the goal. Will be the end of uh, the night for Obama. We'll see Kadoa coming on in his place. So Patrick Kelly's also made way. And that's Lewis Horford now on the field for West Ham as they look to try and turn things around for the second time this evening. Just under 15 minutes to do so. Yes. There's been two counter attacks that have caught out West Ham in this second half. Chester's. So he looks to find George Earthy, and George Earthy could be in. He's got an option. And what a fantastic save to deny Kadoa from getting on the score sheet, score sheet straight away. But a good response from West Ham who are looking to get back into things. So here's Tyler Dibblings and an important block from Luziao. Looks like uh, Johnson's moved over towards the uh, far side of the back three. With Luis Yao coming on for West Ham. A nice switch towards uh, Skulls. They're going to have to retake it though, West Ham. Might have been a, a rolling ball perhaps. Coventry. Skulls. Now a foul against the number 11. Thank you, eight. Let's make an effort. Eight. Let's go. Make an effort. Thank you. This 
misses that chance again for Kadoa. Straight away after coming on. What an important save from Mohamed. Too high for a boot. Casey flees you out. The pass he would have wanted. This is Doyle now for Southampton. Number nine's already scored once. This time we'll look to turn provider. He would have done so if it wasn't for another brilliant save from Jacob Knightsbridge. Tyler Dibling's effort. A powerful strike with his weaker left foot. And really a stunning save from Knightsbridge. Taking a look at the goal again. Those would be appeals for offside. It's close, that's for sure. It's interesting. I wonder if VAR was in action tonight, if uh, the goal might have been overturned. Just as Barney Johnson, that's a nice first time ball out towards Skulls. Oh, what a delivery! And what a chance that could have been for the Hammers. Still with Chester's. And then Magoma eventually gets it clear for Southampton. The pressure's starting to build now from West Ham. Skulls. It's a cute little flick around the corner from Orford. Not the finish that Marshall would have wanted this time. Beautiful little chipped ball between the lines. The last 10 at the Rush Green Stadium. What a big 10 minutes it could be for West Ham. Southampton making another change. <laughs> Just seen Jay Robinson come onto the field. He was the goal scorer in Southampton's defeat to Fulham last time out. Earthy finding Orford. It was a nice ball. It was a big chance. Kadoa couldn't find the finish. Passing away there for West Ham. That's important work from Casey, and the referee just stops any potential chance of a uh, breakaway. So the Hammers now making a change. It 
Sean Moore, who will be coming on. Earthy. Johnson. West Ham know things won't get easier for them next time round. It's a trip to the uh, Premier League Two champions of last season, Manchester City. Uh, he's on side here. Though, after some hesitation from the linesman on the far side, the flag did eventually go up. There was a long delay. Southampton happy to take their time with things at the moment. Lucy out. Casey. Trying to get involved, he'll win West Ham the throw. Look to seek out Coventry, couldn't find him. Doyle, nicely read by Johnson. Here's Kadoa now. Earthy, he's going to find Sean Moore. Time are getting closer, just can't find that final touch or final. Could have been clinical, really, in the final third. This is Yao. Five minutes to find an equalizer for the Hammers. Nice work from West Ham. Here's Sean Moore. Southampton get it away as far as Orford. Braggs had to get there first. Southampton would have wanted getting a free kick and a little bit of uh, time to try and run the clock down. Here's Zakor. Nice pick out to find Dibling. Southampton, it's another tough game for them next time round as well as they host Reading. They are to win, they do go into that top 16 and into the playoff places. Whatever the result is, West Ham will stay there, but they'll be disappointed if they're unable to continue the uh, current six game winning streak that they're on. It will have to be some finish for, from West Ham. They are to keep that winning streak going. Is <laughs> Abu. Saints get the throw. Two 
Close towards Knightsbridge. She's going to want to get on with things quickly. Marshall. Coventry. Look at look at that for a vault. Earthy. Will deliver towards Marshall. Labu had to get there. It will be a corner for West Ham. Is they getting that momentum going again? They'll continue it here on the near side. So don't forget for the uh, remainder of the live stream. The uh, corner goes in. It almost. Found the back of the net, but if you use the code WHU10, you can get 10% off any item at the club shop. WHU10, that's all merchandise, replica shirts. Southampton are coming away now. Flag up this time. Discount, the 10% discount only is active whilst the game is on and whilst the live stream is on. Marshall. That was a tough one for Sean Moore to take down. Just give West Ham one last chance to regroup and think about how they're going to get back on level terms. It's happened just as we're about to find out how much stoppage time there will be at the end of the 90. Looks like it will be five added minutes. If you compare that to what you see quite often in the Premier League these days, it seems like a only a little bit of time. So that's not going to make a change as well before we get on with things again. Stephen Iwumene who will come on for the Saints that's an interesting one because the uh, Southampton number seven number seven Amo Mayo, he went down with cramp he's now coming off the field he went down with cramp on this near side and he's been walked off all the way over on that far side. <laughs> so over a minute of stoppage time already gone. And we're finally back in play. <laughs> Things battling away for Southampton. Decision goes to where the hammocks. Orford. Finding Johnson. Is there to be a big finish from West Ham to find an equaliser? Earthy. There will be a corner. No 
There's a yellow car for kicking the ball away. That's been coming, to be honest. Orford out on that far side to take this West Ham corner. Straight back out it goes, but West Ham will look to keep the pressure alive. Coventry finding Chesters. It's a nice ball towards Earthy. He looks for Kadoa, just too much on the pass though. It's a stoppage time to go. There might just be one extra. And West Ham get it back up the other end again. They might be able to do so here because it's Cullen Marshall who's breaking away. Here's the number seven with the chance. And it's in. There was that big moment for West Ham and it had to be him. It had to be Cullen Marshall. Goal number seven this season for the number seven. And with what might have been the last action of the evening, he levels things. A touch of fortune on the way. A touch off of Amartej, as well as the goalkeeper, Mohamed. Even the post getting involved too, but it went over the line. That's the most important thing. And West Ham do find themselves level again. And maybe they might just have a little bit of time to try and look for a winner. As Orford gets there first. Nice bridge will go long. Can't find any kind of direction infield though. So we played the five minutes that were initially added on. We've had a goal in stoppage time. We did have an injury which took up a whole minute of it. So surely there must be just enough time for one last chance for either side. So at the moment it's Southampton breaking forward with Doyle. That was an important challenge from Casey. And West Ham get themselves the free kick. So long it goes from Knightsbridge. Kadoa. Earthy who started the West Ham scoring this evening, finding Kadoa. They'll be happy to try and see things out and it will be this West Ham corner, last chance of the evening. It'll be some moment if they are able to find the back of the Southampton net. As Coventry will deliver. Hampton get the first touch away, it's not very far. And Zakor with a vital block. Luis Yao trying to keep things alive. And Abu's giving it away towards Callum Marshall. He's on a hat trick, of course, remember, you won't get it there. And he won't get it at all because Dowell, the referee, brings an end to proceedings. It was a fantastic finish to the evening from West Ham. They went into the second half in the lead, but they trailed for the ma majority of the second 45 after two Southampton breakaways. But late on, it was Cullen Marshall 
who was able to get his second of the evening to level things up for West Ham, who will have to take the point and try and build and keep on building the momentum as they take on Manchester City next in the Premier League too. But the full-time score here at the Rush Green Stadium is West Ham 3, Southampton 3. And this moment seemed quite a while ago. This was how the scoring was open from Doyle. A fantastic free kick. But it didn't take long for West Ham to get back on track. The front three all getting involved. Mavama to Marshall and then Marshall to Earthy. And a cool finish from the number 10. Hello, viewers. <laughs> Marshall not just involved in terms of providing, he was involved in terms of scoring for this one. Free at the back stick and a fine header. No chance for Mohamed despite the touch. Then a theme of the second half, these counter-attacks from Southampton. Which led to the number seven. Amo Amayo breaking free, beating Knightsbridge and firing Southampton level. And a similar kind of pattern for the Southampton third. Once again on the break, there was a hint of offside, but the flag stayed down. Over Showman was able to thread it through the legs of Knightsbridge. You want the choke. Looks you at that the point choke. like West Ham might have been heading for defeat. But it was the uh, man of the season really so far, Callum Marshall with a second of the evening. Despite a couple of touches on the way through, he wouldn't mind because the ball was over the line. And the big late equaliser from Marshall making the final score at the Rush Green Stadium, West Ham three, Southampton three.